Now we're going to talk about one of my all time favorite things, and that is binders. So, in this business, you need to stay organized. All right. So, it doesn't matter what type of system you're doing, as long as you're doing something that works for you. And I find what works for me is binders. So, I currently have four different binders that I utilize, not on a daily basis, but throughout the week all the time. So, the very first one I'm going to show with you guys is my team binder. So, as soon as you sponsor one lady into the business and you start building your team, I highly suggest you do one of these. So, I literally, it's just a plain binder, and then you're going to notice all these tabs right here. Every, every diva on this team has a tab. And every time we do a training call, I make little notes um, about what we talked about, ideas that were given, goals you have, anything like that, I make a note of it. So then if we're talking on a weekly basis or bi-weekly or monthly or whatever it may be, I can always look back to see things that we've talked about. So that's the way I keep my team organized. I used to do folders, folders don't work for me anymore. So I have a team binder. The second binder I'm gonna share with you guys, this is like, the money making binder I like to call it so this is it's like a soft I don't know soft cover deal um, those of you who've been around for a couple years you know I love scissors so I love to cut things um, I cut off this used to have a tab or a velcro thing that's stuck here cut it right off I don't need it no more so what's inside of this binder this binder I touch every single day what you're gonna find is right here in the front there's a tab that says orders all these right here are orders that I need to place that I've collected in the last week um, that I did not have the product in stock. So when I'm placing my orders on the COO, the product's already in my cart. I'm not gonna go through that whole system on how I do that, but once I've gotten their stuff in the cart, their order form goes in here. You're gonna notice there's a bunch of paper clips too, just a side note, I do handwritten thank you notes for every order I have to ship out on, and I do them at the time that I'm placing the order, so when they all come in, I'm not handwriting notes and trying to ship at the same time. The very next tab is my money due tab. I talked about that in another video here on our station. Um, I let people do post-dated payments, so be sure to check that out if you're interested, but that's where their order forms would go. The very next tab is a back orders order or folder, and this is one of those accordion folder things. Um, so right now I have a sexy spreader that's not available to be ordered that I'm waiting on. I put her order form in here and I check in with her once a week. So I'm letting her know, hey girl, just letting you know it's still on back order. This is when they expect to have it back. I give her the date, especially when you get a product that's like a month out. You don't want to keep saying, oh, it's still on back order and not giving her kind of a, an idea. And I write down every time I reach out to her. That way there's no, you know, me dropping the ball and her thinking I just forgot about her. And then the next one um, is for returns. So you don't hear me say this, but um, sometimes I do have people have to do an exchange with me. All sales are final per the invoices. Um, there's a couple things that, and depending on the person, I will do an exchange. Um, typically it is for lingerie that she gets and I don't have it in stock so she can't try it on. Um, if I have to ship it to her, I have the handgun thing so I can clip the panties to the top. Um, and she has three days from the time she gets it to try it on and let me know that it doesn't fit and then I get it back from her. So I have an exchange. Um, it's just wrong size. So it's even trade on her. Um, so I have a folder tab for that. And then the very last tab here in the back is the two week tab. And the way that the two week tab works is after, and this is in my follow up video also posted here on the station after two weeks from the time they get their parties or get their products. So if they take it home that night or two weeks after I've shipped it, I take all those order forms and I clip them together and I put a date. So on 11-4, I'll follow up, there's about 50 order forms here from people who I need to check in and my, my check-in is super easy, like, hey, it's Sarah with Pure Romance. I just wanna make sure everything is good with the product you purchase at Nicole's party. Please let me know if you have any questions or need anything else. And they love it. Like I get so much, so much back from my clients for just checking in, they love it. On the other side of this binder, I have 13 tabs. Each tab is a different month, and then there's a miscellaneous tab. This is a money-making thing. So you're going to notice there's a sheet, there's a piece of paper per each. The top line says the year, and you're going to notice this is 2016 right now. So this list of girls right here are all people that had good parties with me in November of 2016 that I want to reach out to and party with again. Okay, so I will contact all these ladies on November 1st and say, girl, it's been a year since we partied. Let me spoil you again. Here's what you're going to get. Then I always draw a line, and below the line are lists of people who want to have a party, but they're more specific. 
So you're going to notice there's some people already crossed off. All those ladies wanted January parties. And when I just opened my January calendar, so I already crossed them off because I checked in with them and said, Hey, you're on my list for January parties now open, get your date before they're gone. Um, like here's another one. I met her at a party in July. She's remodeling our house, but wants to have a party later. Um, so I'm going to contact her November 1st because July now it's been four months and might be a better time. And then on the back of that page is my five plus follow-up system. And what this is, is if you check out the video about the let's connect cards, any person who circles a five or higher on the back of the let's connect card at a party, but doesn't play or doesn't book a party that night, I'm putting them on a list. And I check in with them two months later, and that's how I do it. Now, after the first, and I do all this on the first of the month, that's when I'm trying to book all these parties. Once I'm done, I put the tab in the back of the binder here. And then what you'll find is I start a 2017 list. Same thing, these are all the women I partied with. Actually, this was from September of this year, so last month. But I'm gonna follow up with them again in next September. So that is how that follow up system works. And that's how this binder is like my money pit because all those people, are interested in parties are all my party leads so I need to check in with them the third binder I use is this binder this is a party binder so oops, whoopsie. I uh, apparently didn't put stuff back after last night's party so this binder stays with me during the party it actually stays in my business bag it comes out in the shopping room the very first page Oh, is my VIP program so I do a scratch off VIP program um, all the sheets are in just one file protector here pull them out as needed the next thing I keep, this is like all my paperwork I bring to my parties and it's easier than bringing folders and it keeps it nice and neat and whatnot. This is my sign up for my sexy subscription box thing. The next page I ran out of whatever was in there. I don't remember right now. Something was in there. Um, then I carry gift certificates with me because I have guests who want to shop for their friends or they have bachelorette parties coming up or whatever it may be and they want gift certificates. So I actually, long time ago, created a bunch of gift certificates on Vistaprint and I just number them and I hand them out. I also in here, I got to refill it. I keep the... Um, not the best party ever brochure, but the other one. For any woman, I'll say, do you have any interest in taking home information on joining my team or having a party with me? And if they say, yeah, let me have some info on partying with you, I give them a, the brochure because then they can take it home and check it out. The next page, I carry the consultant enrollment forms with me to my parties in case somebody wants to sign on the spot and I don't have good enough internet connection to set them up. Or if they want to do a payment plan with me, I, I have them fill it all out and I set up a payment plan right on the bottom. Next, oh, there's more party brochures. Um, this is where I keep people's wish lists. So this is what I use at my party, and sometimes people want me to hold on to it so that they don't lose it, and then when they party with me again, they can just give me their name, and I have them in alphabetical order in there. The next thing, this is my, you guys have seen me post it on our team page before. This is the free gift selection, so I let them pick their gift if they're getting a gift based on the number of people that were there, so like one to five, six to ten, and so on. You guys know how that all works. Then I do carry some of the product information with me. So this is the product charge times and how long it runs, allergen fact sheet, FAQ on euphoria, um, and then it goes to all my games. So these are all different games that I could play. I don't like to just bring one game with me to a party because if I decide I wanna play something different, like last minute, I like having all my game options with me so I'm not like scrambling to make something up. So that stays with me. I don't pass that around. It's just like my business, my business envelope or business binder. But then there's this binder and this is the fourth binder I use. This is my party binder. So I put my name and information on the front here. I actually will stand it up on my table. So it's like advertising me as well. The first page, um, right now I have the bad moms thing in here. Obviously that's all said and done. Um, but I'll put any like special thing that I'm doing. If I'm doing product of the month, if I'm doing a whatever limited thing right there, the very next page is all about my sexy subscription box that I do. It gives them all the details. I explain it to them as well, but some people just want to read it on their own. Then I put any inserts for any limited products that we don't necessarily have in the catalog. So I printed out the one that corporate gave us actually for the all inclusive, which really helps sell it because it's not just me explaining it and they actually get to see it. Then I have my guest specials. So you were not required to do guest specials for people. I personally do just because I know when I go to a, like a 31 party or pampered chef, I'm always like, Ooh, what's the guest special of the month? So I make my own, um, for my clients. I will use some limited products, but I also just use regular stuff as well. So that's those specials. 
And then I have limited lingerie. So all these pieces I still have in stock, um, but only in like one size. They were products we carried, then they went discontinued and I just haven't sold them all. Um, and then I give the lingerie size chart so that people can size themselves. This is great. This is like a must have if you wanna sell lingerie and you're not carrying it in stock. It helps people size themselves up so you're not ordering a bunch of wrong sizes. And then I have my little insert about joining my team with the kits. So I call them packages now. I've kind of reworded my wording. So I put it up closer in the binder so people see it sooner because there are some people who just want to be a smart shopper. So it gives a layout of what's in the kit and then obviously the listing as well with the price. And then I have some more information on partying with me. It just gives a whole list of everything you get as my hostess because I go above and beyond. And then there's information on becoming a diva. And then the top 10 things about owning your own business with Pure Romance. And then I have an empty sheet because I just didn't remove it. And then I, what I did is when the Euphoria stuff first came out, we, never, we didn't have those mini catalogs. So I actually printed all the flyers that they had made for us. And I'm keeping them in here because these give more information on the product than the mini catalog does, including like the sleepwear size chart, which is important to have all the breakdown of the toys, the speeds, the price, everything. And then there's actually like a summary of all the product too. So that is my party binder. Um, I will be adding to it. I want to print out some of the photos from some of the trips I've earned, some photos from team events, corporate training events, and things like that, just so people can really see what it's all about to be in this business. And then again, if that is getting cast at the very end of my party um, during my closing, that they can all shop from that. So those are my binders. I know a lot of them you've seen before, but I also know people kind of questioning how I keep everything together. And now you know. So hope this was helpful.